Hi everybody out there in Artland, this is Carl Altstetter and um, this is part two of my Creative Conversations video series where um, I talk about everything from what's going on in my sketchbooks and the thought process behind it and anything else that may pop into my mind uh, that's creative or art related. So uh, if you looked at my first video, I went inside my sketchbook and talked a little bit about what's in there. And I'm going to jump right in and let's see what else we've got going. So let's start out with this drawing. Um, originally it was created for a uh, television animated pitch that I did for my character Cosmic Cat. It's of a giant rat from space and this was done uh, with markers and pen and ink. This character um, is a character that's been around for a while. He was based off the basketball player Brian Grant who played in the NBA about five, six, seven years ago. Anyways, um, I always liked the way he looked and I thought he'd make a great comic character so I drew this design based off him. And um, this character has showed up in different stories that I've done over the years but he's never really stuck with anything which is kind of an interesting way of uh, creating characters which is that I create them and I cast them so to speak in other stories that I write uh, down the line so even though he wasn't used in the original story he was created for he's appeared as in a way that you would have an actor appear in another movie, he's sort of shown up in other stories. So it's kind of a, a way to take characters that you've already established in your mind and you've already established visually and just bring them back to life as uh, a character type in a different story. So that's that's been what he's been all about. Someday, hopefully, he'll find his way into a story that sees print. Here's some random... Uh, characters that I created. I'm not sure what I created this one for, but uh, it's markers over pen and ink. This piece um, is taken from my Deity comic book. It was a layout that was done for it. I liked it, so I cut it out and pasted it in my book. This is from a proof from my comic book Saint Angel. I really liked this panel and the dialogue, so I just cut it out and put it in the book. Let's see what else. We'll skip ahead to some more interesting stuff. Here's a panel, another panel from Deity. Uh, it's Cosmic Cat explaining some backstory. And uh, I like that, so I cut it out, put it in. Um, it's kind of interesting. I was traveling around a few years back and I found a book, a manga book, and I really liked the character in it and I drew him in my sketchbook and turns out that character was actually Naruto and um, I didn't know who he was at the time but um, years later after the show was on Cartoon Network he's obviously become really famous in the West so it's kind of interesting that he's in a book of mine from eight to ten years ago so, uh, yeah, I really dug them even then. So, here we have some layouts. You can see I'll do these little tiny sketches. And I do them at this size before I do them in a larger layout phase so that I can burn through a lot of different ideas without spending a lot of time on it. Um, for me, this is a process that's been really helpful because I like to experiment a lot before I get down to actually putting in the uh, the time-intensive work of penciling the pages. So these little layouts, I can burn through a bunch of them. You'll probably see in this book um, how many I have throughout showing you that I spent a lot of time thinking up the stories, but um, I kind of like to wait till the idea and the visuals are right before I go move to the stage of penciling it. Uh, in my last video, I talked about a concept that I had for a cyber animal toy line 
this guy was the frog from that. And uh, it's just a more detailed version of him. This uh, character is a futuristic police officer. You can see down here these gigantic shoes. I sort of imagine those like segways where he sort of steps in them. Can zoom around the city, chase criminals. I'm like a bike cop, but with gigantic, super fast shoes. Um, these are ideas for little um, pet robots for a storyline that I had. And uh, you can see uh, they kind of have that little skeletal sort of look to them. They still haven't found a home. Hopefully they will someday. Here we have uh, some studies that I did. Uh, facial expressions, character types. Uh, this was done with colored pencil, watercolor pencil, and uh, just trying to get down some different looks, some different ways of seeing characters. I'm really big on getting my characters to try to act, give them expressions, and hopefully create characters that resonate with readers. Uh, that's something that I've been working on my whole career, and I think I'm going to be working on it for as long as I do art. It's something that's really important to me. Um, and it's gotten even more important to me the farther I've gone in my career because um, since I'm focusing more on stories, I really want those stories to um, find a readership and, like I said earlier, resonate with the audience. And part of that comes from having good actors in your characters. This is a character that I played around with for a bunch of years. Uh, it was a sort of a secret agent, superhero secret agent story. Um, this guy had an armor suit, sort of a stealth armor suit that he'd found. And he um, he was like, imagine Born Identity meets Iron Man. That's kind of the pitch on that. Uh, here's another view of him. As you can see here, um, idea for a robot mecha and then this one is me kind of doing my ghost in the shell type thing got all these wires and cybernetic parts and of course cybernetic boobies which is always important when you're drawing anime and robot type characters is never forget the cyber boobies that's major that's something you got to think about all the time when you're doing that uh, this one uh, it kind of looks like a young Charles Xavier from X-Men, but he was just an idea for a villain where I wanted to tell his how he became a villain. So you see him as a young man, and then you see him later on as the old grizzly villain. Uh, he needs um, mechanical a mechanical apparatus to move him around, a little hover wheelchair or hover walker. It's one version of it version of it right here. Um, this piece, this character, is sort of a male Molly Million, where his hands morphed into these claw-like things. Um, I don't know, kind of more of a punk rock Wolverine, I guess you'd say. Uh, some ideas over here for vehicles. Um, as you can see right here, I don't want to get too close and have it blur out, but as you can see, I was going for this idea with, uh, instead of having hair on characters, I had these gigantic spiky tentacle type things. That was definitely a phase I was going through. These were ideas for layouts where the main character was in front of these billboards in front of a city. This was a bad guy demon. I think he appeared in Deity, and these are little fairies that are stuck to him and flying around. So um, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully you found it interesting. I'll be doing some more of these, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.